Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Pat Proverbs, here from One End Fucking Gaming, throwing up those heavy fucking ones, and a little two-part commentary for you here today. Maybe we'll coincide it with each of the two nukes you guys are about to see. Uh, this is a double nuclear by Ray's. Uh, hijacked hardpoint, pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward gameplay. Fails the 100+. plus. Uh, ends up with a scoreline of like 97 and 4, something like that. Um, at any rate, let's take some time here and talk about uh, two topics. One, and I was talking about this last night actually with some people uh, in a party, including Ray's, and that is, I think the MP7 might be the most underrated and underutilized gun in Black Ops 2. Um, feel free to take the other side of that argument. I, I mean, I really do, and it it wasn't this gameplay that sold me on it. It's just the simple fact that um, this gun just it just wrecks. I mean, it shreds. The rate of fire combined with the stopping power that it has, albeit has quite a bit of recoil, it, the gun's combination just always worked for me personally. Um, in case you guys are wondering, he's actually using stock. Uh, stock only on that MP7 on his class, uh, and you guys, I believe you guys saw the five perks. Um, so, uh, you know, it, feel free to, to to if you think that there's another gun in Black Ops 2 that is more underrated and underutilized than the MP7. Uh, feel free to comment. Take the other side of it. I'm just giving you my opinion. I think. I mean, that gun is just. It's too well-rounded to only have recoil as a drawback because rate of fire, stopping power, and mobility is just incredible, especially when you put a stock on it. You're going to see him basically gliding back and forth while, you know, strafing while aiming down sight. And it really makes, you know, that couple with someone who has good, like, fluidity when they play really hard to hit. Um, and like I said... The damage on the MP7 is, is devastating. The rate of fire is also devastating. It's really just a matter of uh, that recoil. Um, so if you can handle it and you get a good feel for the gun, uh, I deem it to be probably, like I said, we'll, we'll call it it one more time, the two U's, the most underrated and underutilized submachine gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, now, that being said, you know, actually I'm not sure if we're there yet, but... The second nuclear is going to be a perfect opportunity for me to illustrate to you guys. Um, I did a video not too long ago about challenges facing the community. Uh, I shouldn't say I. We did a video not too long ago about challenges facing the community. And how you get these kids, completely unrelated kids, like kids that have nothing to do with you, never seen them before, definitely have never spoken to them before, um, actually just the way they ruin things for, for everyone in, in the pub stomach community is just out of control. You're going to see some kids who tried for the first half of the game, which you guys basically just saw on this first nuclear. They get like six, five and like four or something kills. And he gets waxed conveniently right there on his act on the actual nuclear kill. But that being said, they get like six, five, or like four, and like three kills or something. And when it becomes evident that like they have four points right now, like five minutes into the game or whatever, it, it's kind of like to me, um, it, it's just it's the point in which they give up, the point of no return, the point in which their morale has been broken, and now they're gonna play sit and spin with each other and and like touch one another in the corner and like. Do all so you know all kinds of appalling, disgusting shit to one another, um, and what I mean by that is, what you guys are gonna see is him spawn kill this same poor bastard like six or seven times in a row, and it gets down to the point where towards the end of the game, about I'd say twenty kills into this second nuclear, these kids just start spinning. Um, they start flipping stools over and taking turns sitting on the legs, uh, and, and it's just, it's unreal to me, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, this is what's wrong with the community. This is what kids have wisened up and started doing, um, and 
it's happening more and more and more frequently and it's just it's out of control and i'm not necessarily sold on the fact that there is anything anyone can do about it um this is uh like i said it's 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 disappointing at large uh to it shouldn't just be disappointing to us it should be disappointing to everyone who's been afflicted almost like this is a disease like leprosy um you know, afflicted by this, and it basically is a disease. Uh, I don't want to call anything cancer because I, I find that that's probably not something that's like really laughable if you think about it in the scheme of things. But I mean, it's the closest you can get without actually being. Um, I mean, you'll see here exactly what I mean, and it's funny, like you know, oh my god, he he's using a dire gameplay. Um, this isn't a dire gameplay. This happens every other lobby nowadays. Uh, it's it's absolutely unbelievable. I really just wanted to use it for, um, you know, illustrative purposes to show you guys precisely what I meant uh, the other day. And unfortunately, you know, you have one kid that, like, gives up trying, lobs a few grenades, almost gets a kill, and then just sits there and, like, decides that he's going to make it his mission in life to shoot down every UAV and counter UAV that goes in the sky. Um, and, like, here you guys are seeing it. Like, they're... <laughs> I, I can't even, like, I can't watch this with a straight face because it's just so pitiful how, like, to what great lengths these kids will go to either A, <laughs> shoot down a UAV for 100 points, and or attempt to spoil someone else's um, gameplay and the quality of the gameplay they produce. Because it's like, how many times can we plausibly watch this kid get shot? Like, let's count. Hold on. Let's see here. Oh, he's dead again. Uh, how many more times does he get killed? Look, there he is. Now he throws a grenade. Oh, he almost gets him, but nope, no cigar. And the kid gets killed like five more times like off spawn and ultimately starts killing himself with grenades, which I'm sorry, I can't really contain myself. It's just too ridiculous. He gets in a gunfight there and then like now he's just killing himself. Like it's just unfucking believable Like there he goes again. <laughs> Like, I can't. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this double nuclear gold MP7 stock on the map hijacked. I think the MP7 is the most underrated, and underappreciated, and underutilized sub in Black Ops 2. Tell me what you think in the comments, and I hope this Xbox Live kid seriously just goes goes and drowns himself for real. For anything and everything, One Nation Gaming, keep it too right, fucking here. Stay fucking beautiful, people, and take it easy.